I, I had done a set. It went incredibly well. And I did very little, if any, material at all. I just played off the audience, just one of those magical nights. And everything, all the pistons were firing perfectly. And again, left the stage, thunderous applause and cheering. And again, I had done little or no material. So I went outside and I was just sitting on, there was a little little wall there you could sit on right in front of the club on Chestnut Street. And I'm thinking about it. And all of a sudden I feel this presence next to me, sit down next to me. And I turn and look and it's Robin. So, and also, so Robin was mine and everybody's idol, okay? Well, for We wanted to be Robin. We wanted to do a, of course, we couldn't do what he did the way he did it, but we all obviously admired him, like, unbelievably admired him. So he sits down, I notice it's him, and he goes, well, you were really riding the wave tonight. I remember, that was her exact word. And I, I kind of just muttered, yeah, guess so. And then he went on to tell me how, how special that was and how special it is to be able to do that. He goes, not everybody can do that, what you just did. And if, if you keep doing stuff like that, it's really going to help you and et cetera, et cetera. And he really talked me up like, hey, they, so this was Robin Williams, my comedy idol, telling me, hey, I just saw what you did and I think it's really great. So yeah. talk about validation, Mike. To say, that's I was on cloud nine for like three weeks. Yeah, I mean that's that's an incredible boost to um, <laughs> any concerns you had about being in the industry when a 